YouTube. Okay, so uh, this is actually some older footage that I kind of forgot I'd ever recorded. So this was drawn uh, several weeks ago now, and it's from the other Christmas coloring card that I posted in my Etsy shop way back at like the beginning of November. I'm afraid I only recorded the line art process for this one. I didn't have my recording program open and on when I was doing the sketch part because I didn't know I was going to make this a video. So I don't have that part in the video, but in turn I've been able to take the line art portion and slowed it down a lot less this time so you can see things just a little bit more clearly during the process. And so hopefully even though the other portions aren't here, it'll be an interesting change of pace. So honestly, I'm quite happy with how this one came out in general. Uh, in my other coloring card process video, I talked a little bit about making the line art extra clear when I'm drawing it for someone else, and that was definitely a focus here. But I'm also really happy with how much I managed to capture some texture just in the line art. Uh, so you can see I used a very different line width around the snow portions as I did around the dragons, just to give them different weight. And I also had a lot of fun adding details to the coal eyes and the mouthpieces and then the carrot horns to try and make it really clear what those were, even though I was only able to use black and white. So I think the hardest part of the line art here was really just working around where my own sketch layer was a little unclear. Uh, a problem I've been having lately is I've been moving on to line art just a little bit too quickly without really refining my sketches and often that'll end up with me inking in the wrong places and then having to go back and fix the line art and in the end it'll often take longer anyways and it just doesn't look as clean. So I'm really trying to slow myself down especially with the sketch layer and I think I mostly did okay here with the dragons and the snowman, snow dragon, but a lot of the little details maybe could have been a little bit better fleshed out at an earlier stage. And actually a good example of that on one of the figures is what you can see coming up here when I'm working out the facial expression for the second dragon. And I have to go back and end up erasing what I've done just a couple of times. And honestly that's an area where I might have had a better time if I'd just gone back to the sketch layer and worked that out roughly instead of trying to make clean lines that are also in the right place without guidelines that are down below. So yeah, good clean sketch, seems like it's a lot of work when you're doing it, but honestly it ends up saving you time later during inking. So yeah, I think that's about it for this piece. Um, I haven't included an example of me coloring this here, but if you'd like to try coloring it yourself, I will include a link to my Etsy shop below where the file is available for purchase. And again, like my other one, if you are a supporter on Patreon, I have posted this available there free for you to use. Uh, so, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been useful or at least entertaining. Have a great day, and I really hope I will see you around in the next video.